The death penalty trial of confessed Parkland school shooter Nicholas Cruz was supposed to begin next month, and now that's not happening. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at the Broward County Courthouse with today's late developments. Amber. Yes, and defense attorneys pleaded for more time in court today in the case of Nicholas Cruz. They argue there is still 1,000 witness interviews to be done, not to mention the 4 million pages of evidence and photos and social media posts that need to be presented in court. Confessed school shooter Nicholas Cruz will not face trial for the murder of 17 innocent victims at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School until the summer of 2020. Judge Elizabeth Scherer agreed to postpone the January date in order to give defense attorneys more time. Prosecutors agreeing to a few months delay in, quote, an abundance of caution, according to one of their court filings. Attorneys from both sides will meet to schedule a trial date in March. I don't want to hear come March that... Parties are busy, parties are doing other things in the month, and during the summer months because this case is going to be tried the summer. Parkland mom, Lori Alhandef, not happy with the delay. It's delaying our, our pain. It's delaying justice. And it's very hurtful to, to me and my family. Other parents like Tony Montalto have been preparing for this trial. We understand uh, the issues uh, that are involved and why the judge made her decision. However, that doesn't mean we're happy. The defense lawyers noted that of 38 capital punishment cases in Broward County since 1994, the average time between an arrest and trial was a little over four years. In Cruz's case, his trial would begin less than two years after he was arrested for the massacre in Parkland on February 14, 2018. But the logistics not a big concern for parents. For them, it's all about the outcome they want and the one they feel they deserve. We're going to do the best we can. And uh, as always, we're going to stick together um, and uh, hopefully we will see a trial uh, soon. And the judge has scheduled the next hearing for March 23rd at 1 o'clock. For now, we're in Fort Lauderdale. Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News tonight.